This series of videos is down in Merriweather, where they have the Merriweather Trail of Murals. It's part of the Georgia Mural Trail. It was created by John W. Christian from the Go Georgia Arts. So come along with us as we enjoy all these beautiful sights because we're loving the real world. We start in Manchester, from the past to the present, water to land. One of the major annual attractions in Manchester is Railroad Days, which takes place the third weekend in October. This is probably why CSS is in the center of the mural. Franklin Delano Roosevelt used to travel to Manchester to get his cherry coke. He would pull up to the curb and they would run it on out to him. He would sit there, sip on his soda, sitting in his car. Beside the big mural, you can also see a tribute to military servicemen and women, along with local heroes and New York Times best-selling author, Stuart Woods. Also pictured is a local businessman and the former police captain. Some other interest in Manchester is Hudson's Farms, where they have all types of fresh fruit. For your crafters, they have two craft festivals, Local Days Arts and Crafts and Christmas Craft Express. Independence Day fireworks and activities on the 3rd of July. Veterans Park, President Theater named for Roosevelt. There's a Magic CD Rail Quest. We've not done a geocache before, which is what this is. Let us know in the comments if you've had that own experience with them. And also, there's a train observation platform, which you can see 40 trains in 24 hours. Now we jump back into the car and head over to Warm Springs. Uh, this is on the side of the old depot in Warm Springs. Is it murals of three presidents in Warm Springs? Well, I know that's Roosevelt there in the middle. That's definitely Jimmy Carter. Yeah, that's definitely Jimmy Carter, and that's definitely Clinton. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that's JFK. It is JFK. He did come to Warm Springs yeah. during think, their candidacies yeah. yeah. the president. Represented in the mural, you can see the bust of the Polio Hall of Fame that is located at Roosevelt's Warm Springs Institute for Rehabilitation. Also shown is tears streaming down the cheeks of Chief Petty Officer Graham Jackson while he's playing his accordion as Mr. Roosevelt flag draping funeral train leaves Warm Springs in 1945. There are so many things to do in Warm Springs that we will be doing a separate post on our trip there. There's the Little White House. Also, they have a marvelous GeoQuest, which is based on Marvel Comics. They have a Spring Fling, a Harvest Hoedown, and Candlelight Weekends. Now we jump back in the car and head over to Woodbury. In this mural, you can see Mr. Roosevelt visiting the locals. And right under that, you can see the moonshine containers, which the locals say FDR would enjoy the occasional sip. Woodbury was once known as the pimento capital of the world, displayed by the pimento peppers. In the center, you'll see the Red Oak Bridge. And while we are here, let's go visit it. Red Oak Creek Covered Bridge. This bridge one. It's the longest covered bridge in Georgia. It was built by Horace King, a former slave in the 1840s. It stood at its full length of 391 feet for over 160 years. 2,500 wooden pegs. Oh, goodness. I can't believe it. You can see the pegs. Look. Oh, yeah, you can. The big pegs. The pegs all up through there. Huge pegs. No nails. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go see what it's like on the bridge itself. You know something that's amazing? No graffiti. 
Pile Watermark, July the 7th of 1994. Wow. I guess it withstanded it. The Merryweather menu is held the first Saturday in November where you could come and dine inside of this bridge. Tickets are required. Just look down through the hole. <laughs> There's a bamboo right there. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it was covered at one time all the way to the other end, or if it's, uh, yeah. and if not, why is it just covered over the river? Well, the river, I guess, expands out to that area when it floods. We have found some other things to do in the Woodbury area. Fitzgerald Farms has peaches, peach ice cream, apples in the fall, jams, jellies, preserves, and sauces. Hudson Farms, which is located in Manchester, also has a roadside stand on Main Street. And Ticking in Woodbury, the real Woodbury Zombie Quest, and Peaches in the Pines. Now to our next destination, the town of Gay. Okay, we're in Gay right now, or the city of Gay. And the Cotton Pickin' Fair is running. And I believe these tents have the mural covered up. This mural displays the town of Gay, being known for its abundance of hunting and fishing. Franklin Delano Roosevelt would visit the area and fish from the banks of the Flint River, and also at the historical Red Oak Covered Bridge that we also saw in the Woodbury mural. The Cotton Pickin' Fair is held the first weekend in May and in October. It is a national award-winning festival. Other things in the area is the Big Red Oak Plantation, where there's lots of honey, and also Jones Grist Mill. Now we jump back in the car and head to Luthersville. This mural is on a billboard. I'm not sure why. If you know, please leave it in the comments. The building in the center of the mural is the CSX Train Depot, which is the location of the city park. Luthersville has a Creek Native American heritage and it is displayed in the right hand corner. It also features the Girl Scouts camp and the historic homes. On the left hand side, you may notice that FDR is visiting with the locals. Some other fun things to do is Wago's Pumpkin Patch, where they have hay rides, corn mazes, fall pictures, arts and crafts, face painting, boiled peanuts, fried apple pies, and pumpkins for sale. It's a free admission. Boy, it sounds like lots of fun there. The Trammel House has been restored and furnished in the style of the 1840s with some modern amenities. You can rent individual rooms or the entire lodge. The lodge itself sleeps 10. Now we're heading west to Lone Oak. This mural is on the side of the country store. If you look at the lower center, you will see the Lone Oak Gold Mine. And just left of center, a oak tree all by itself. It represents the name of the town, Lone Oak. The top left is a bell reminding us of the original schoolhouse. Also featured is historical houses and buildings. The farmer in the lower right hand corner and his mule represents folklore of the area. They have an arts and crafts festival the first Saturday in November. Also well, there's Lone Oak Farms which is family owned blueberry, strawberry and onion farm. They have other stuff too, like jams and jellies, hey, and pickled garlic, among other things. Now we head over to Greenville. This is a beautiful mural reflecting Franklin Delano Roosevelt and several other notable Greenville citizens. Lovely historical homes, historical churches, the courthouse, 
is in the center of the mural, just like it is downtown. The old jailhouse is down to the right. You will also see the Greenville Historical Building. The Print Shop Gallery has original art sold on consignment by local and regional artisans. Artisans on the Square also has tributes of local and regional artists, but they do larger works of art and furniture. Well, I thought we saw all of the Merriweather Trail, but when I chatted with John W. Christian, he told me he just finished one last month. Appleton Mural. Okay, I'm gonna give you a sneak preview of this last one, but we didn't get to go there. Hope you join us next time for a tour of historical places of Greenville, Georgia. We hope you get out and enjoy life, and maybe you'll be loving the real world too. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.